It surprised me that I read that actually you get pretty nervous before you do things mm. and it's getting worse. Because I yes. have thought someone like you, especially you actually, because you're very confident, you just sort of think, I can't imagine no. you ever feeling like I'm that. I'm not, don't you get nervous? I do, yes. Well, there you are. And you should. Yeah. You should get nervous. I think it's, it's good because it makes you crackle a bit. Right. And I can see you're crackling. But, I'm very but... nervous. <laughs> I was worried about that. <laughs> um, I'm naughty, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what yeah, we like. Brilliantly naughty. When people um, say their favourite dinner party, you can pick five people at your favourite dinner party, you're always on the list. How flattering. <laughs> What's the food? <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely ice cream, but that's for sure. We almost had an issue with the ice cream. That was almost a row. It, it was. Miriam nearly kicked off. <laughs> We were both given our uh, our ice creams, and a little voice behind us went, "I want one." <laughs> and then when when very quickly the team rustled up another ice cream together, I had to swap over because my one was bigger. Yeah, said that Holly's got a, a bigger one than I have. Wow. Well, Are you happy, playing. Miriam? Is that good? I love it. Oh, good. Um, the uh, the national, you would love to do something at the national. I would. And if there's anybody watching from Call the Midwife. You'd like yeah. to do that. You'd be perfect in there. I can't believe it. They are why. so good, aren't they? Oh, look, All we, those girls. This is what you'd look like. Look, We've there done you go. a very bad sort of <laughs> head stuck on there. I think, I think I you think we could try should be in casualty, actually, with that neck. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that quite fits, doesn't does it? quite work. I saw myself more as a nun than a nurse, to be honest. Yes, yes. I think the wimple could hide a lot. But you you'd, So you'd like, you would like to do that? I love that programme. I think they are all majestically brilliant. Yeah. You've got fine actresses. Mm. Jenny Agatha and, and Judy Parfit mm. and Linda Bass. I mean, they're fabulous actresses. So I want to be there if So that's, possible. Uh, that's a direct appeal to the production team of Call the Midwife. We yep. have someone here who would very much like to be uh, to There's be no to. end to what I would do to get on that programme. Well, there you go. Phil's, Phil's head's full of things now. Well, I can uh, unfortunately, I can't get you on. That's the best I can do. <laughs> I <know. so. laughs> but I love it. Um, are we OK using the word fat? Because we've spoken about this. What here, else are you going to say? Well, this is a very good point. I mean, the, the, If we the... said it, if you weren't here um, and you weren't using that word yourself, um, if we said that, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Well, I'm sorry, I think that's silly. Well, you would, we, we would, what we would, would you say? say? You'd have uh, to say overweight, overweight or Ugh. larger or... You know, Portly. Well, at Portly, I don't think you Roly could... Roly-poly! No, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you think could say <laughs> any of those either. things, actually. I think you, you, we, you have to now be very generic. You have to be careful. You have to be kind. We should be kind, but everybody should be able to use the word fat and not die when they use it. Mm. It is a real word. It's what I am. Look at me. It's, it's awful. This belly. I, I try to disguise it. You I, are... Well, we love you just as you are, by the way. I'm thrilled and grateful that you say that, and, and, and it's very touching. I just wish that I could be as perfect in my body as I am in my soul. Yeah. I don't want the flake. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of my kids. <laughs> Winning a BAFTA in 1993. Put it on there. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. All right. <laughs> this has all gone to pot. Uh, now, Miriam Margulies is uh, tr trekking to uh, one of the top beach destinations in Europe, actually in Cornwall, as she mm -hmm. sets off on a great British walk. It's around the, the Cornish coast. She's here now to explain um, all, uh, you all about it. You could be in Cornwall it. now with an ice cream sitting That's, on the beach. I love it. It's, it's, it is the beach. It's holidays, yeah. isn't it? Ice cream's always been like that. Um, well, you could keep... Uh, I have no intention of taking that off for you, because well, I think... I should you... bloody <laughs> hell not! Because I think she'd break my fingers. <laughs> so, um, so you carry on with that. Anybody who denies climate better come and talk to me, because I'll bloody stuff them, you know. I'm not <laughs> having it. It's yeah. absolute nonsense. Of yeah. course there's, there's climate change and global warming, and we are responsible. Yeah. Yeah. And we know that because of the, the extent of it. Of course there's been fires before, but never like this. Mm -hmm. This is a, a, at a level that is unprecedented. Yeah. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. No. Well, don't smoke it, but I mean, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we know. They've got to Definitely. take it on board. Yeah. We'll leave Trump and his family out of it. But the actual people that voted for him, once you get to know them, they're rather delightful. Not all of them, but they're they're fascinating and different, and I found quite depressing. But did you did, did you change I mean, your tone a little bit there? Didn't you describe the people who voted for Trump as the enemy? Yes, and they changed me. I didn't change them. 
I learnt from the, from this trip. So what did you learn then? What was it? I learned that you've got to not be dogmatic, which I am, to be more generous, mm. to allow people to come to you and to try to understand them. I learnt a lot from it. Well, you saw... And uh, now I'm quite, quite perfect. Now good. Good. <laughs> we always thought you were. Yeah. Um, so do you sit... Is it true that you sit on your front step and chat to people oh, as they go by? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I sit on the top step and I just shout at people going past. Um, it's human contact, isn't it? And do they talk? Do they talk back? You have a good chat, do you? Do they think? Did they say, yes, "Oh well, my well, God, that's Miriam Margulies on that step"? Professor Sprout is talking <laughs> to me from the top step. <laughs> well, some of them run a mile, of course, and uh, but some do. I mean, mostly they do come and talk to me, and that's lovely. Mm -hmm. And my garden is beautiful because Marcos is my gardener, and I do see him. Because, you know, when you've got money, and I've got money now, I can pay for people to come and do things. That's the point. Mm -hmm. That's and the whole point of having it. So does it... But I, don't, I, I actually don't give a stuff about the economy. I want people to live. I want us all to survive. Yeah. So that, I think Boris Johnson is completely right about that. He's not right about anything else, <laughs> but he is right about that. He is, because she was an elegant woman. You've got a tiny bit on yeah. your lip there. Have I, I'm, I'm surprised <laughs> it's not everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was an elegant woman. <laughs> <laughs> All up your well, it's, you know, this is live television. What can I tell you? Eamon, who, uh, who also hosts the show. Oh, how is that boy? He's yeah, fine. He's God oh, bless he's him. He's just had his hips done. He's put on a bit of weight. No, he's he? lost no, it. No, he's lost <laughs> it. He's, he's lost it. Oh, he's lost it. He's had his hips done. Oh, that's he's good. Really, he's getting back to full mobility. No, no, no. And he's back here tomorrow, actually. It's his first day back at work after he's been give on medical leave. Give him a squeeze. I will. We will. I think you're going to say give him a slap. No, a squeeze. And then a slap. You have a bit of a moment with the Queen, didn't you? <laughs> well, I have talked about this before on, on, on television and I feel sort of awkward saying it again. But, I mean, I, I was invited to the palace as part of British Book Week and when the Queen came over to me and she asked me what I did and what do you do, in a very nice way, you know, and I said, like a... Oh. I said... Sorry. Um, <laughs> I said, I'm the best reader of stories in the whole world. And she went like that. And then she immediately left me and went to the next person and said, what do you do? And he said, Mum, I, I'm a, uh, I teach dyslexic children to read. He was Scottish. And uh, I, we've noticed that if you put the letters in different colours and the pages are printed in different colours, it helps the children read and absorb the information more quickly and easily. And I said, standing next to him, really, how fascinating. I didn't know that. And she turned to me and said, be quiet. <gasps> Which she had every right to do, but it was a bit <laughs> discombobulated. Oh, my you can imagine. Everyone went... Oh, <laughs> you seem to eat really healthily as well. I do, I do. You were eating radishes, you were eating raw onions and apples. Yes. You know, so... I know. I, and, of course, it, it does make me expel air. Of <laughs> I'm trying so to be polite. Well done. That's unlike I'm you. Impressed. Well, I said <laughs> so I must say... I mustn't <laughs> say the you other said thing. That, you said that, you can say fart. <laughs> <laughs> but I do eat healthily. You actually did about four minutes of your research chat with our team with, the, with your Scottish accent. I know, it was sort of showing off, really. <laughs> but I can't help it because I, I heard it all my life. You know, I grew up listening to that sound it's actually the south side of glasgow it's a particular sound and i just love doing it i love feeling that memories coming all around me of my father whom i adored oh. and my mother of course you know well, she was not <laughs> scottish she was from liverpool can you do that N no i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna go what do you think this is i'm not <laughs> mike yarwood if you remember him no <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm our... thinking about Scotland. I'm not thinking about Liverpool. I could do it, but I need a bit of a pause, I you know. I understand that. <laughs> well, I mean, our researcher may have made something of a mistake when she was talking to you by saying, in actual fact, there was a, there's a touch of the Maggie Smiths about that. And they had the McGonagall. Well, I, I think my Scottish accent is better than hers. <laughs> <laughs> I do. 
I do, but I know what she was trying for. Um, anyway, we're Glasgow and she was trying for Edinburgh. Mm. But not that I'm rubbishing Maggie Smith because she's a great lady. <laughs> I'm getting scared of her, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be scared of her, not of you. Of course, she's she's quite something. Is she? Yes, but mm. I, she is a great ornament to our profession. Mm. We're very lucky to have her around, yeah. actually. That's yeah. true. Um, once you don't uh, tell her what I said. No, 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 no apart from the fact you're on the telly, but it's OK. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I forget that. You... I mean, you all sounded completely bonkers just <laughs> then. I, I couldn't quite make out what was happening. It seemed to be a penis lying around. But anyway, uh, whoever it belonged to, uh, all the best. <laughs> uh, that Miriam, is why you, you are you, our favourite guest. You... It's, it sounds like it's going to be huge anyway, so it will end up somewhere... Uh, somewhere. You are really trying to get your tongue right into that, aren't you? <laughs> well, that's what tongues are for. <laughs> <laughs> And this is um, and this is the the life of uh, Helen Rubenstein, the cosmetics <laughs> entrepreneur. No, actually, I'm rather enjoying it because I don't have deadlines. I mean, it was a bit of a nuisance having to get up for you this morning. <laughs> and in fact, when, <laughs> when they called to make the test call, I was in the shower, um, and you know, I thought, oh, poo, or words to that effect. <laughs> 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 Makes a change. <laughs> Conscious that I'm on, you know, on on television in the morning. Well, you've never been conscious are... before. <laughs> it's the first well, time. <laughs> I, I know, but I don't. Want, I don't want to offend. You see, you, I really don't. It's I never, never bothered you in the past. <laughs> <laughs> it, it slips out. <laughs> As the actor said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs>